This coming Monday, D.C. students will also hear the school bell ring. Mm -hmm. Students at Dunbar High School will find a much nicer setting than they're accustomed to. Much nicer is right. Suzanne Kennedy is outside the school tonight with a peek at what $122 million will do. Suzanne? Well, Candace and Maureen, the word we kept hearing today to describe this new school was beautiful, and that is a far cry from the way people used to talk about Dunbar High School. With the fanfare of the first football game of the season, the new Dunbar High School opened its doors to the public. This facility is like night and day from the old Dunbar. My first impression was, oh my God. The new $122 million facility has lots of windows providing natural light, unlike the former building that has been compared to a prison. Each classroom has interactive smart boards, computers, and televisions. There is an eight lane pool, a gymnasium, and a state of the art auditorium. It's just so exciting because it's such a big building and new stuff is in it, new technology, new furniture. It's a, it's a great environment. Dunbar's principal says the new school should send a strong message to the 650 students who will start class here next Monday. It will show that we really care about children, that we really love children, because an environment like this beautiful building will show that we really care about the success of a child's education. Alumni, teachers, and students gathered for today's ribbon cutting, which was a combination reunion and move-in party. Mayor Vincent Gray was in Dunbar's class of 1959. Today we can all say that Dunbar High School continues to stand proudly as a monument to learning and a monument to inspiring architecture as it has been in the past. The old Dunbar High School, which is just right next door, will be torn down at some point this fall and will be replaced by athletic fields. Reporting live in Northwest Washington, Suzanne Kennedy, ABC 7 News. Thank you.